Hi, and welcome to Maven Next Meet the Mavens. My name is Katherine Joffrey, and I'll be your host today. I'm so excited as we get to meet and get to know a little better one of the co-founders and owners of Maven X. Just for some of our listeners out there, a little bit about Maven X is that Maven X is an integrity-driven and experienced ServiceNow partner. Now we get to dive in and learn about one of the owners. So let's go ahead and welcome Arnold De La Fonte. Welcome to the Maven X Meet the Mavens. How are you? I'm doing good. Thanks for putting this together. Really excited. Of course. We're super excited to learn a little bit more about you. So Arnold, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? How did you come to being one of the owners and founders of Maven X? Ah, good question. Um, well, you know, I've been, I've been in IT for, for about 23, 24 years now. Um, always in infrastructure management, data center, uh, managed services. Um, so IT has always been part of what I've, what I've done throughout my career. Um, about 10 years ago, nine, 10 years ago, I, I um, came across a platform called ServiceNow, um, working through that, implementing at the, the organization I was at at that point. Um, and then, um, you know, after about a year there, I, I, I really got excited about uh, going out and, and doing consulting work and, and really, uh, you know, utilizing my experiences with, uh, with uh, consulting and uh, kind of going out there and, and showing other folks what I've been doing and what's going on. Um, I joined a company out of Chicago as a startup, just uh, one of the first partners of ServiceNow back in the day. Um, and since then, I've joined uh, other partners and helped them uh, pretty much uh, start from the ground up and kind of move up forward from there. Um, about two years ago, uh, I joined forces with a good uh, friend of mine, my uh, business partner, uh, and we decided to start Maven Next. Um, again, just really a holistic approach around consulting, holistic approach around bringing solutions to, to clients, those kind of things. And um, yeah, that's that's really the journey. Very very much compressed uh, uh, from my humble beginnings in IT till today. Great, thank you so much for sharing. So, with that said, and bringing us back to today, how did MavenX actually achieve its name as MavenX? Where is that from? Oh, MavenX. Um, well, Maven, the word Maven, and um, by the way, it, it was a. Uh, it was uh, an interesting exercise to come up with. I mean, we had many different variations, but uh, Maven always was at the, as, at the core. Uh, Maven itself is a Yiddish word uh, and it means expert. So we knew we wanted to convey um, our experiences and you know, what we knew uh, in regards to uh, consulting and bringing good solutions to, to, to our clients, right? Our partners and uh, the word, uh, you know, experts and Maven uh, stuck. So we stuck with Maven. Um, and then the word next was that word that we eventually um, added to, to give it that forward uh, motion and forward thought process around it. So maybe the next, your next expert, right? I like that. So the next is being <laughs> the next expert in the industry. Is that correct? Yes, that's, that's it. That's, that's, the, right. that's the premise. Yeah. Which I guess brings us to the next question is that, you know, you want to be that expert in the industry and maybe the next is the expert in the industry. What does your entrepreneurial journey look like or what has it looked like? up until this point? Um, well, um, maybe you can tell us a little bit about your entrepreneurial journey. Sure, sure. Um, you know, I've always had that itch, right, of, of going out and, and doing something, uh, you know, maybe not so much on my own, but uh, really being able to have the freedom to um, put forward what, uh, what I knew I can, I can, you know, bring to the table uh, with my, my vision. Um, you know, I would, I would say thinking back, um, even before my IT career started, um, you know, I was in real estate. And what I mean by that is, um, you know, I'm, I'm from Chicago. Um, and uh, back then, when I was uh, in my very early 20s, uh, I started getting into real estate. And um, really, what I what, what it boiled down to was um, uh, starting my own company within the space, uh, more on the construction side and rehabbing side. Uh, that went very well. Um, however, my passion was uh, really late in IT. I uh, started that career uh, within the data center out of Chicago, a uh, great company out there. And um, I eventually just really gravitated toward IT, but always had that, uh, that itch to, to you know, do my own thing and really start my own company and, and, and move forward with that. Um, fast forward till today, um, you know, this is where we're at today, right? 
it took a bit. Uh, however, uh, that journey was very rewarding. Uh, I did um, get to meet not only some really talented folks, but uh, had a, a lot of responsibilities across the board. Uh, did a lot of traveling, uh, met with a lot of uh, C-level folks, those kind of uh, situations, which um, made it really tough to say, you know what, I'm, I'm going to stop this and move forward with, with my ideas, um, because there was a lot to learn there. And, and, and so I took advantage of that. And uh, fast forward to today, it, um, I made the, made the leap and made the next born. Congratulations. What a journey. Thanks. I know that. It sounds like it has been a journey. And what would you give maybe other entrepreneurs or maybe those considering entrepreneurship? What advice would you give the younger generation given your experience and maybe some lessons you've learned? Oh, well, I've learned many <laughs> lessons. <laughs> we could be here all day. But, um, you know, what I would, what I would really, you know, and this might um, sound a little bit old fashioned or, or maybe cliche in a sense, but, you know, I, I truly believe in hard work um, and really sticking to what you feel you, you need to be doing, uh, working hard at it. Uh, you're always going to have folks that uh, may not uh, have your back all the time or really just really uh, support you. And that's okay. That's fine. You need those challenges as well to, um, you know, uh, get to know yourself and understand yourself, right? If, if you can either go in one direction or not, right? So my advice would really just to be to stick the course. If you have that uh, drive, if you have that, uh, that itch, go for it, right? Um, you know, there's no failure in it. You know, if, if it doesn't work out, you learn from it. And eventually you're going to eventually do what you, what you really have a passion for and it'll happen. That's what I would say. Great. So really take that leap of faith and go for it is what it sounds yeah. like. Well, you got to prepare. You got to prepare. You got there's, um, there's a calculated risk, of course. Um, however, uh, a lot of it is, um, is that uh, risk that, uh, take, that taking that leap of faith and, and, and trusting yourself to go. I love that. So just to maybe encourage others to take that leap of faith. Yeah. And with this, we kind of dabbled in it. But what would you say is the greatest lesson that you've learned over this journey? Hmm. Or maybe something you wish you knew prior to engaging in your entrepreneurial journey. Um, well, you know, I was very fortunate to be a um, part of a couple organizations along the way uh, to where I'm at today that, um, um, you know, were startups. Uh, so I learned a lot there. Uh, I was uh, very fortunate to be um, partnered or, or uh, you know, have uh, leaders and mentors throughout my, my journey. Um, you know, if there's anything that I would say that I'm still uh, working toward and something that uh, is, is somewhat um, of a surprise, not surprise, but something that's new uh, that I'm, I'm embracing right now is, is more on the people side. Um, you know, understanding the dynamics of, of people that you're working with, um, being on the side of, of, of having a leader, having a mentor, of learning is, is a bit different than all of a sudden being in the position where you're the one that's kind of leading. You're the one that people are looking at. So you have to um, take all of that in consideration. Um, it's very dynamic. Uh, people are, um, are very unique. Uh, it's not a cookie cutter solution to any of that. So you learn from that. Um, so that's, that's what I'm, I'm learning today. Uh, so if, I guess if there was a, a magic wand, I'd say, yeah, let's go back about two, three years from, uh, ago and, and, and kind of anoint me with being a, an expert at working with folks uh, in, in that capacity. But um, it's a good challenge. I'm, I'm, I'm embracing it. I'm having fun with it as well, too. Well, it sounds like you're embracing it. And from yeah. what I hear, you're growing your team as well. So congratulations on the growth. Thank you. Thank you. It's exciting. Which brings me to my next question. Yes, I'm playing on this next, but I love it. So the idea is, what would you say is your greatest win today? My greatest win? Um, yeah. With Maven next. With Maven next. Um, you know, I, I always think back, and even to this day, when when we're closing, you know, deals, I think back of the first one. Uh, you know, to uh, that that feeling you get, like, wow, I I, I did this, and it's it's my own. Um, you know, we we have a great partnership today with uh, with a client here in the Bay Area, uh, which was my first um, my first signature um, DocuSign. It's a, it's a nice nice logo, great company, um, and to date, we're still with them today, right? We're still providing services. We're still partnered with them. It's a great um, relationship. Uh, so yeah, I, I think that um, that really affirms to me that we're doing something right. Um, and the passion that we've had that we wanted to get into, 
the space doing it is is actually working. You know, it's it's not as cliche as as it may seem. It it, it works if you work hard and you really do things, um, you know, uh, you know the right way that you feel is the right way. Then things do pay off, and that's that's what I I I still think to this day when I close any deals, I I think back of that first one. That's beautiful. And so what you said, that's with DocuSign, correct? Correct. DocuSign was your first client. And still to this day, how many years later? Uh, Just click that one. What are we in? April, May? Uh, We're going on two years here shortly. Wow. Yeah. So two years later, they're still an active client. I think that speaks volumes to the integrity and ethics of the team. So again, great win. Thank Thank you for sharing that story. That's fantastic. Thanks. And then to kind of get to know you a little better, what would you say, or who is your hero? If you had to name at least one hero. Um, my hero, uh, there's folks that I've, I've, like I said, you know, I've, throughout the journey, I've, I've, I appreciate, I appreciate, I've very appreciative of a lot of the folks that have mentored and, and helped me, right? There's been a lot, um, even the folks that, um, that challenged me, right? And, and maybe not the right ways, but I, I learned from them. But if there's anybody on the professional side that I would always gravitate to and read books and, and, and really admire was um, Colin Powell, for example, he's one. He had a great quote that always stuck to me about, um, and I'm paraphrasing here a little bit, you know, that something around, there's no secrets to, 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 um, uh, to, to success, right? Um, the results are really uh, uh, driven by preparation, hard work, right? And learning from your failures. Uh, that always resonated with me because um, I um, I learned a lot from failures. <laughs> I'll be honest. <laughs> uh, so Colin Powell is one on the professional side, um, and you know I think we all have folks that um, on the personal side that uh, influenced us that we look back and say, you know what, um, a lot of things that I do it kind of reminds me of certain certain folks. Uh, my great grandfather was was one. My dad, of course. Um, you know I always think back of uh, growing up, the hard work that they were always. Um, you know, doing, honestly, um, my great grandfather was an immigrant, came in the 1920s to, to the US. Um, and he, you know, he had multiple properties at one point, had restaurants, had a grocery store. Uh, and I think back and I'm like, how did, how did he do that? <laughs> I mean, that's, that's pretty, pretty tough to do to begin with. Um, but, uh, you know, growing up in that and, and looking at that, uh, it, it stuck. Um, I might not have realized it back then, but, you know, fast forward to today, I, I definitely, um, very appreciative of that. I, I would say those are my heroes. That's wonderful. Well, Arnold, we really appreciate you being with us today and getting to know yeah. you a lot better and sharing the me the next story. So sure. thanks so much. And to all of our listeners, we hope you tune in soon. We'll have another one with uh, one of our other founders and owners. So be sure to tune in and thanks so much and welcome to me the next. <laughs>